Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Just call me Matt in the video. Hi, Cappy. I'm a freshman at the University of Northern Colorado. Something I've noticed through the years is how kids interested in behavioral sciences hold a huge superiority complex. When I was in high school, half of the dipshits in my class, including my ex, who was also at my university, took AP Psych, jerked off their egos with it, and are now majoring in it. Half? Really that high? The university offers a kick-ass psychology program, and there's a lot of these fuckers there. Most of the ones are pseudo-intellectual dickweeds, are freshmen, so the upper class men tend to have stop the major or drop the I'm an enlightened intellectual teen and I shit gold act if they continue to pursue psychology and good for them. <clears throat> Still, I've noticed how you've hinted as to why the field is oversaturated garbage, which I agree with, and I would like to see you explain a, the general synopsis as to why it is people in it tend to be shitty and overrated. Okay. Well, here's the deal. And what we got to do is we got to delineate between two different groups of people that go into psychology. Those that actually do become actual psychologists or uh, psy psy psychiatrists. And those that just go major in it, get their bachelor's degree, and then like, oh my god, I got to get a master's? I have to get a doctorate? Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. And so we're going to delineate it. Now, the percentage of people that, that understand the labor market realities that in order to make any money in psychology, you need to become at minimum a master's candidate or to get your PhD it is like 0.00002% of all psychology majors. The remainder of them are those that typically fall into the stereotype of psychology majors. So who are these people? Well, the ones, number one, who are afraid of math. Okay, let's just start right there. You have your options in high school as to what I want to go into, and let's be forthright about it. I didn't know a lot of guys who were going to go into child psychology. It was all because I'm a major in child psychology. Seriously, that was like the number one major. And they think it's because they're good with children. So here you have, now think about this. Here you have a 17-year-old child who is still, if they're a woman, eight years away from the brain fully developing, and seven is 28. Uh, 11 years if you're a man, but I didn't know that many men who were going into child psychology, thinking that they have the wisdom and the life experiences and the brain development to start telling people about their own psychology, okay? So these are not only deluded people, they're egomaniacs. And above all else, they're cowards and weaklings. They don't want to do anything hard. Psychology is easy. Child psychology. That was the obsession. It's not just psychology like Dr. Fraser Crane. No one ever had any intention of becoming a Carl Jung. It was always, I like children. I think I do good with children. You see, I have boobies. So I'm good with children. And when, when, when a girl says, I'm good with children, that translates into English, I'm lazy and I don't want to do math. That's what, that's the, in case you were wondering to translate from womanese into English, that's, that's what it means for you high school kids and college kids too. So <clears throat> it is, it is laziness. It is a lack of rigor. It's a lack of work ethic. It's the easy way out. And, oh, it's easy. and on top of it, they've been propagandized by their parents in school. You can do whatever you want. So we all know this. Read my book, Worthless. We, we don't have to repeat it. They are also dumb because these are the people who, are so lazy or so ignorant or so stupid, they don't bother to study, you know, they don't bother to search BLS psychologist and then look to see what is required in terms of education and what the starting pay is and how much time it actually takes to become a psychologist. Um, to get your master's, that's, that's another two, three years degree. But if you want, really want to make the money, not just work for somebody else, but you actually want to go and make real money, you have to become a doctorate and open up your own practice. And that's the essential equivalent of becoming an actual doctor. So what happens is you have these inherently lazy, pretty much worthless fucks who had no intention of working hard and contributing to society. They just said, psychology major, society support me. I'm falling now. Take care of me. Give me a job. When it comes to the reality, they get their, their approaching graduation and they get come up with what are you going to do next? And they find out no one hires psychology majors, bachelor's degrees anyway. They say, oh, I got to go get a doctorate or a master's. 
That's too much. Are you a husband? You have money? Are you an engineer? I like you. Now, I know I wouldn't sleep with you when I was a freshman, but now I'm a senior. I like men with degrees in engineering. Can I spend 90% of the money we make together? I'll go work my part-time job at the school where I help children, because I'm good with children. I make 11000 a year, but I'm good with children. I know you make 90000 but we'll just, we're equal. I'm equal to you. We have to spend the same amount of money. Otherwise, we're not e You want to treat me equal, dear? You like, do you like my titties? Do you like them? <laughs> Yay. I got a ring. <laughs> and that's pretty much every girl with an undergrad only in psychology. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when it comes to like, holy shit, you actually got to put some effort into it to get a doctorate, not to mention, you know, plot down all this money. Very few people go on to become it. So that's where you kind of, you separate the wheat from the shit. I mean, the chef. And uh, you actually have genuine doctors and, you know, therapists and all that. Okay. So <clears throat> the, those are the type of people who are, you are likely facing. Now, here's the other thing is the whole concept of psycho psychology industry. I'm sorry, it's bullshit. It, it, it's bullshit. There are some good things that come out of psychology. There are. I do believe therapy is good. I, I believe that you need to talk to a third independent person uh, who is not family or friends, you know, someone who can stand back and independently analyze you. I think that's good. Um, it also helps in things of like recovery, addiction, alcoholism, abuse. Uh, so in, in that capacity, I think uh, psychologists and, and psychiatrists do play a vital role. I just don't think you need a fucking doctorate to do it. You're just you're just a, an ear. You're just someone to lend a hand. When you get into these therapy, these uh, what behavioral, cognitive, and whatever the third one, it's all bullshit. We don't understand the human mind that well. Now, neurology provides some interesting things, and there's chemistry, and and then you get into drugs and all that other stuff. But on the whole, if you look at the psychological industry, it's bullshit. A recent study came out where, especially in academia, not practicing psychology, but but in the particular where psychologists come from, academia, they did a study where they were unable to replicate two-thirds of the results of all these psychological studies, undermining the whole fucking research aspect of psychology. <clears throat> what were they doing? Doing electroshock therapy all 30 years ago, one flew over the cuckoo's nest? I mean, this is not a science. Uh, this is, this is, you know, this is a, at best, a theory, a field of theories. And the fact that we put so much value on the DSM V5 and, oh, we have to get their professional opinion, and that these people can say, oh, yeah, that person's insane, that's what really scares me. Uh, and this brings in a dark, malicious aspect of the people who go into psychology. They want to control people. They think this is an easy way. Uh, like, no, now I control the mind. I know the mind, and I can tell people. And then you see some of these evil, disgusting people like this... Um, Ableism, these people suffering from ableism where they feel guilt, un unconsolable guilt about being abled. And so what was it? The guy poured acid or bleach in their eyes and another person had cut off their ears and these people are mutilating their body. Somebody had their legs, I think, cut off just so they could they could get rid of that guilt. And these, these fucking quacks didn't try to stop them. Didn't try, and then we also see this happening in the transgender community. Which, me being libertarian, I don't care what you do. I really don't care. You want to cut off your legs. But as a concern to my fellow man, uh, with the study that I saw, found, and again, if there are different statistics, please correct me. I'm, I'm always for truth. But <clears throat> the latest data I have is that 4 in 10 people who go through transgender surgery attempt suicide. Now, that's a big fucking red flag. Now, the psychologists, the, the, psycho the psychological field, who are typically leftists, put their politics, and oh, we can't tell, blah, 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 ahead of people's fucking lives. Whereas I, a bit more of a, God, I hate to say it, humanitarian? Me, a fucking humanitarian, more than the psychology profession. <laughs> say, hey, whoa, let, let's see if you really are transgender. Are there are other issues going on here, because there's a 4 in 10 suicide attempt after you go through this surgery. So I, I there, there is at minimum a dark and malicious and evil <clears throat> and Machiavellian and self-serving and not there to do no wrong type aspect to this field. Um, and it is on very shaky grounds that this, quote, profession has been built. And so I, I really do call into question the entire psychology industry, especially with the filth in, filth out. I mean, you have inferior people going into this profession. Now, 
Again, are there good people who like they watched uh, Frasier? They want, oh, I think I could, and they do actually want help. Absolutely, there are very good therapists, very good professionals. I'm not questioning that, but I am saying, kind of like finance, you all wonder why bankers are scum. It's because finance attracts scum. Psychologists attract scum. Or, uh, the liberal arts. How many? Why are there so many bad lawyers? Well, because lawyers t typically come from liberal arts majors who couldn't make it with their degrees who were egomaniacs and couldn't sell for that, who then went on to become lawyers at like crappy law schools, who then couldn't be employed, who become ambulance chasers. So it, it is what qualities in, uh, of people, what kind of character and caliber and quality of people are we putting into these programs? Well, don't expect them to be fucking saints when they come out. Same thing with pastors, you know. They, most people go into the priesthood or the pastorhood because they're lazy or in the olden days want to avoid the Vietnam War. Not the highest caliber of people. So when you come out, oh, you wonder why pastors are fucking dicks. Why, oh, why preachers are fucking plugging eight-year-old boys? Well, <laughs> shit in, shit out, no matter how great the model may be. Uh, the final criticism is I want to know how many of these people out there, we, you kind of saw this when you were dating, these girls, I did date a couple girls in psychology majors back when I was in college because you didn't have a choice. Uh, they were fucked in the head. They were really fucked in the head. And there's always the joke, oh, they're just trying to figure themselves out. Well, they're my, there's a seed of truth to that. A lot of these girls are trying to figure out, you know, daddy issues, resolve this, resolve that. I don't know. I, I just don't know how at the age of 17 you can... I need issues to figure it out myself. And I also want to know how many of these psycho, uh, psychologists are on uh, the the brain drugs themselves. I want to know how many of them are taking prescription drugs themselves. I'm, I'm very anti-prescription drug. Uh, you know, okay, you're an alcoholic. Yes, I know. I admit it. I'm honest about that. <laughs> you're self-medicating. <laughs> you say that if it's a bad thing. Um... But I want to know how many of these professionals, they themselves are on the fucking juice uh, put out by Merck or Abbott Labs or whatever, and they're, and they're dispensing advice as well. Uh, how many of these people have psychological problems? you got the blind leading the blind. Uh, this is, again, why asshole consulting does quite, quite well. I'm no therapist. I'm no psychologist. Uh, but w when, when does just blunt, direct, real-world advice coming from either a father figure, an older brother figure, a guy who just plain doesn't have the fucking patience to kiss your ass and tell you the fucking truth, you know, would that not replace the entire psychology industry? A swift kick in the ass. So I, I really am suspicious. In other words, the psychology profession and psychology students are people, it's, it's like Muslims. No offense. I do have Muslim friends. No offense to you if you're a good Muslim, but you have to prove that to me. All right. Women, American women, I think you have to prove that to me. I'm not just going to assume, well, you're a great person. Same thing with psychology. I'm sorry. You come from a group that's tainted. Okay, I, 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 I've seen enough behavior in that particular group that I am going to be discriminatory and prejudiced, and you will have to prove to me that you are a human worthy of merit and so forth. And people do, all the time, absolutely all the time. And like I said, no doubt, I know several psychologists who are on the up and up, they are good people, they do good work, they do help out other people. But given the crap that comes in, the crap that goes out, what I see in the entire psychology industry, two thirds of the thing cannot be replicated, it seems like a scam, it seems like liberal arts majors. Like, I'm sorry, you have to prove to me you're not a fuck up. So, <clears throat> in terms of the non- 0.02% of psychology majors that do go on to become good, helpful, producing, contributing members to society, actually helping many people. Aside from that, no, I'm sorry. In a general sense, psychology majors are a waste of human time and a waste of human resources. They're a waste of human beings. I'm sorry, if you're a psychology major, you don't have the goal, you don't have that intellectual honesty to go and actually help, to go through, become a master's, become a, a psychologist, to do it altruistically and selflessly, not because you think you're good with children and you want to avoid calculus, uh, yeah, fuck you guys, okay? Just fuck you. Um, you know, you got, shame on you. You're just, you're, you're, you're taking innocent humans. You're going to go become a therapist and advise people about their mental health and their futures and their happiness and their mental stability, not because you want to help them, but because it's easy? That's evil, man. That's just fucking evil. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> go become a therapist. Go, go. Become a politician, okay? That's more your line. Go become a journalist. Go become a feminist, okay? That's, that's, they go become an activist. That's what you should do. So, all right. That's my opinion on psychology. Best of luck to all of you. Toodles.